Hi everyone, Jason from Make Care here with another CNC tutorial video. And in this one, we're learning how to choose the right stock for our CNC projects. Now the term stock refers to the material that we use to create our projects using desktop CNC's and other types of CNC machines like the Carvera. In this video, we're gonna overview a few key tips and strategies for you to consider as you choose stock for your CNC projects, as well as how to foster greater success with your CNC manufacturing techniques. The type of material that you can work with will depend on the type of machine you are using. And in general, CNC mills and routers are incredibly versatile machines that can work with a wide range of materials from metals to composites, woods, even printed circuit boards. A key strategy for starting a CNC project is to work through an iterative approach by prototyping and testing your projects on different materials as you go. Let's say I want to manufacture something complex on a hard stock like aluminum. I would first manufacture the design on a softer and cheaper material like epoxy tooling board or machinable wax or even foam to test my settings and my bits. Then dive into the final project after I'm sure everything is correct. This strategy is great for users of all levels and allow you to test and prevent any accidental mistakes and save you both time and money in the long run. Another factor for choosing material to work with is the cutting tools that you have available. Different stock requires different types of bits as well as different types of cut settings to manufacture manufacture your project successfully. So we must ensure that we choose the right bits and settings to not only perform the type of cut that we want, but also to work with the type of material that we have. We talk more about this in our guide for choosing bits on our channel and wiki site. And the type of stock you choose might also require different considerations for chip evacuation and cooling as well. When machining harder stock like metal, the chips and shavings produced during the machining process are very hot and can overheat our cutting tools, ruining the bits and sometimes even the project. Using cooling systems like the Air Assist system equipped on the Carvera, as well as choosing bits that reduce hot heat like a spiral O bit will remove hot chips and keep the cutting area cool. Softer materials like wood also produce a lot of chips and shavings that we want to clear, but this can typically be done effectively using a dust collection system. As discussed in our speed and feed video, as well as on our wiki page, the harder the stock, the slower we should cut it, and the higher RPM our spindle should be. You also want to ensure that you are machining deep pockets and cuts in multiple passes, as well as using pecking operations for drilling to ensure that you do not damage or increase excess wear on your bits when working with harder materials. And again, test and prototype your projects first. More things to consider which are equally as important as the stock are the types of bits as well as selecting the right feeds and speed settings. And you can learn more about that in our other videos on the Make Care YouTube channel and across our wiki page. Please also don't forget to subscribe for more content and thanks for watching.